Very classic. Mm. Very good. Oh, hello. Sorry. <clears throat> I didn't see you there. Hello. My name is James Gibson. I am one of the third year students for Staffordshire University Graphic Design. I have been sent a list of questions from my good friend Richard Mellon. And I'm going to answer them, hopefully in a single take. That's going to be amazing. Either way, we're going to wing it, we're going to have fun, and we're going to do it right. Ish. Possibly. Maybe. Anyway, on to the first question. Who is your favourite lecturer? Oh, I don't think I can give any one answer. The entire design team, the tutor team, is absolutely amazing. Really, really amazing. They all have their own strengths, which as a unit, as a collective, makes them unsurpassed, truly. Whether it's, I don't know, John Hudson and ideas generation, the amount of ideas and exercises we were pulling out of those hats, needed more than a few wizards to come for that. Jim Williams, with his specialty in typography, my personal favourite aspect of graphic design typography. His knowledge is just unquestioned. What he doesn't know isn't worth knowing. Sam Owen, her connections to the professional agency and advertising. All these wonderful pieces of knowledge that she has really supplements absolutely everything. And design as well, she's so very passionate. Richard Mellon. What, can, what else can I say? Absolutely amazing fellow, great sense of humour, and he applies his mind to absolutely everyone. And everything. Works both ways. Also procure very cool gadgets. Seriously, you better ask him. I'm getting to show you his deck of cards. Lisa Wolf, academics. Wow. Her combined knowledge of the arts is just amazing, and her approach to everyone it's really kind, really great. Just the whole team, fantastic. That's why I can't give you a single answer. I'm afraid I just can't. So, next question. What has been the biggest challenge during your studies? Wow, we throwing the best one, throwing the best ones questions at me here. For me, it would be thinking outside the box. It would, I'm a very, I used to be a very safe player, like safe ideas, safe risks, and taking risks, anything like that. But through graphic design, I've been able to really home and pull out these ideas, really work the ideas down to the best, best is best versions. And it's incredible what I've came up with. It's incredible the experiences and the journeys I've made. I have taken risks. I have taken solutions that were slightly unorthodox. And I am still proud of the result. So that will be for me. I'm st still one of my weaker points, but I am improving on it. It is getting there. And what next? Which of the graphic design solutions are you most proud of? <clears throat> that is a good question. For me, I think it would be experimental formats in the second year. We learned the entire process, everything was new, and we took, we learned how to bookbind, we learned how to translate our ideas from one text, pick a theme from that text, and creatively show that theme with the same text so we book bound our solutions and for me it was a breakthrough not only in creative ideas but also learning how to book bind I will never forget those lessons that I learned I won't forget the rush as well that's the various stresses Jim was very great in helping me relax and helping me keep focused but you know, when is graphic design not a stress? Next question. Which graphic design solutions? Da, 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 da. 
Which module did you enjoy most in graphic design? You can see the difference, like which solution you're proud of and which one do you enjoy the most. It would absolutely have to be the... It would absolutely have to be the Design for Advocacy project that we were doing in our second year, first term. We came together to work as a group and we really, really set into something we were absolutely passionate about. We did a health campaign for not all disabilities are visible and it worked out so well. Working with my other two classmates, Ashley Marston, James Thorne Davis, we came together and we had such fun, but it was also working together with our other groups and the other classmates. I cannot put a nail on anything absolutely better. It's all been fantastic, but if I had to pick one, that would be the one. Okay, what do you enjoy most about being a student at Staffordshire University? Everything. <laughs> absolutely everything. If there is one thing I would like to pick out, it is the con ties, it's the ties to the industry, especially with graphic design. You get a lot of professional t talkers, you get visits to agencies, things like that, and it is absolutely amazing, and it is so, so inspiring to see all these connections, competition briefs, absolutely everything come together. You always feel inspired and invigorated to try more, to do more, to be the very best designer that you can be. It's just nothing quite like that. Are you an optimist or are you a pessimist? I am absolutely 100% an optimist. Always class helpful. Granted, I have my roots well rooted and well grounded, I like to think. But I always try and see the best in things. I try to see the best in people, the best in plans. When things don't go right, we take a step back, we find another solution, we get on with it. Because I don't see a point in stopping to complain or stopping to moan about it. I just get on as best as I can. And I will continue to try and do better from that experience. So there we go, it's pretty much as simple as that. Next question. What would you say to one of your lecturers? Keep up the good work, get yourself a real job, stop blaming the students for all the failings in your life. I owe you a day great depth of gratitude. Those were just the answers. Definitely the last one. I owe you a f I owe each and every one of you a huge, huge depth of gratitude. You've supported me not only through dyslexia, but for a long-term health condition that can re easily get the upper hand of me. During COVID lockdown, when I had to shield because I was clinically vulnerable, you were always there, you were always on top of things. And for me, it is so, so, so reassuring. I really can't say how amazing you guys are. What do you admire most about your favourite tutor? Now, considering that I said absolutely everyone in the first time, I'm going to say, as a collective again, the teamwork and the support that the entire team brings together is absolutely fantastic. Um, I know I said this before, but the way they come and get together and bring their various strengths together, even when two of them seem to be having a light-hearted domestic, not naming names, Jim and John, but in all jokes aside, absolutely amazing team and they will come and they do come and support you. If you put the hard work in, they will get, bring the very best out in you. So that's just amazing. That is it, that's all the questions. Thank you very much for joining me. You're all absolutely awesome. And I will see you in the new year. And cut.